everything that exists in this whole universe is under some law. There are laws which are permanent in nature, like the laws which have been built into nature. We may call them divine laws. We may call them universal laws. Uh, we may call them enforced laws. There are laws in science. There are laws in arts, culture, psychology, economics. You name anything that you do. Anything and everything is based on some law. Even there are personal laws. An individual can make a law for himself. Like which we call them principles. This is my principle. That I do. It is not principle. It is principle. There are the, 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 there is a difference of spellings. The principle of the school is P R I N C I P A L, and the principle, the rule, the law is P R I N C I P L E. So there are principles for governing everything. Now, this ability to make laws, it comes from Allah Almighty. First of all, he made laws. The first law Allah created. After which everything else was born. What was that first law? So, what was the other thing which was other than Allah? Nothingness. Got it? You still don't know what is nothingness. I also don't know what is nothingness. Because we cannot understand what is nothingness. What is really meant by nothingness. But you know, if only Allah was there and there was nothing else. So there was nothing else. But for the specific purpose of creating the universe and everything else, Allah had to make first law. He had to create something other than himself. So the first thing other than himself which he created was nothingness. And from that nothingness everything else was created. Including Adam and Hazrat Adam alayhi salam and everyone else. Everything else. Now when Allah created those, these, what are those laws? These laws. These are natural laws. These are divine laws. These are the laws which whether you act upon them or you don't act upon them, they will do what they do. The sun will sun rises in the east. It, it will keep happening until Allah decides to change the law. The earth has its gravity. What is it? It's a law. It cannot be 9.9. .9. It cannot be 9.7. Newtons, meters per second square, whatever. Nms or whatever. See? It's a law. Now, these are natural laws which everyone has to live with. And we all are confined in these laws. You cannot get out of, of the earth without certain force. Can you get off the earth? Even if you want to. Can you even, you know, you can just jump on the earth. You can't get off the earth. This is another law. There are seasons, there are days and nights. There are stars, solar systems, there's... There are universes, multiverses and what not. This all has been created under some law. 
if there was no law, everything will collide with everything. No? So this means we get a lesson from this. What does law do? Yes, law saves everything from chaos, collision, destruction. So if there were no laws, there would be nothing left. Everything would collide with itself. Earth will decide one day that I want to go to moon. Because there is no law stopping the earth. But Allah's laws are, are bounding on those things. So they are living within those laws. Then there are laws within the nature. Laws within the DNA. A mango tree will grow mangoes only. If it, it were not the law, mango tree one day would find one fine morning would decide that I want to grow roti. Not even a fruit, you see. So stepping out of the law creates chaos. It creates disturbance. Anyhow, then when it comes to human beings, there are natural laws within our body. Everything that we do is regulated by some law. It's the law. It's a law that our blood pressure has to remain with, within certain limits. It is a law that our heart has to beat within certain limits, within a minute. It's a law. And whenever any element of our body tries to become a rebel or rebellious, what happens? The chaos starts. What we call that chaos is disease. So it means that going against the law, going against the law is equal to disease also, as it is equal to chaos. Then there are laws within the culture. Now, how do the cultural laws get into being? How do human beings make the laws? Because that's what I want to uh, basically focus upon. Because there are, it's a huge subject I could talk. Uh, we, you know, it, it is going to take weeks and I would not be able to cover it all up. But there's a purpose behind my teaching you this thing about laws. Because you people are growing up. Now, as I keep telling this story again and again, I keep giving this example again and again, that if a, a bush is growing besides a street and it is not pruned, <coughs> it is not cut properly, it is not arranged properly, if it is not fed properly, it will remain a dirty, filthy bush. But at the same time, if there is a gardener who knows how to do that cutting and pruning, who knows at what time this bush needs watering, there is a possibility that bush would become a symbol of beauty for the people passing by. So, consider me as a gardener and you that garden which has grown at its own. And what I am trying here is that I am trying to water you every day. I am trying to do that pruning which is required to build you into better people. So that is why I decided that you need to learn about law. You need to um, understand what is the importance of having a law. And if you do not have laws, what will happen in your life? If you do not have principles in your life, what will happen to your life? At least I will teach you today because that's what is going to refine you and that's what is at some point in your life you will be confronted with these laws, the social laws, the cultural laws, the 
the legal things, the, the, the laws which are made by the states. Which we call the law and the law and the law and all that. So we have to face these things in our lives. And if you learn it today, I am sure you would be much better than all your age fellows at least. Now there are within hum when it comes to human society, when it comes to human beings, how do these laws come into existence? Imagine the days of Hazrat Adam alayhi salam or the days of caveman or the days of uh, a human being which was when humans were not developed. How did they make the laws? How does a law come into existence? For example, we come to know through Quran and his historic facts and in Bible also that Kabil killed Habil. Okay, now there was a lesson drawn from, from that by those people who were left behind. That murdering is a grave thing. Right? So a law came into existence that no one should murder someone else. How did the law come into existence? That all the members of the society or most of the members of the society, they agreed upon something mutual. So they had a mutual consent upon this principle that murdering is not good. It, is, it should not be allowed. And then they thought, okay, what if somebody murders someone, then what should we do with that? that person. Then they started thinking that if somebody kills another one, how, how to stop it? Then somebody might have thought that then there should be a punishment for such a person. So that due to the fear of punishment, he doesn't kill someone. So then they decided the punishment. So the concept of punishment came into the laws. Alright. So and how did it happen to be a law? Most of the people of the society agreed. They agreed that yes, we agree that murdering is not good. Why am I saying most of the people? Because there would be some, someone Django between them. I'm sure there would be someone, one odd idiot. He would say, no, no, murdering should be allowed. Because he thinks in himself that he is the biggest murderer of the world. And he thinks that the formula is to kill everyone. Twisted. Putte. Ulte dimav. You know, that kind of mentality. So they are always there in the society. But the laws happen when the society or the majority of the people in a society decide something in their favor or against it. And then they make it into a law. Now, abiding by the law is basically equivalent to abiding by the principles of the society. How does the society set those principles? Societies set principles on the basis of mutually agreed concepts or in simple terms, mutual consent. When people agree upon something mutually, they set standards around it and those standards become laws. So that is how the societies evolve. Now these are the, these are the laws related to the crime and punishment, legal side of the laws, the judicial side of the laws. But then there are laws within the culture also. In cultures also, we have certain unspoken laws or we have laws which are given to us when we are growing up through the upbringing. The society gives us law. The laws that are taught to us by our parents, by the society. Now that is, this is the cultural side of, of the of laws. That how, how do cultures evolve? Cultures also evolve in the same manner. They also evolve through certain principles. Some, now there are different words used for laws. There are principles, there are uh, laws, there are statutes. Then there are 
sub laws, then there are um, um, clauses, and there are many other words which I'm uh, I, I'm not I'm forgetting at the moment. But there are many other words which are used for every kind of law that is implemented in a society. Okay, now the cultural side, and after that, we let's come to the economic side also. There are economic laws also. Then if you go to the family side, there are family laws also. You are taught those laws in your childhood. For example, do they teach you? You may not like it. But these are the laws which is ke liye word hum use karte hai, norms. Norms are also laws. Values. Values are also laws. So these norms, values of culture, they are passed into us, they are injected into us by the, by the society or the family where we live in, the schools where we are brought up, the education system, everything coupled together, it starts giving us those laws. Because human beings cannot function cohesively without laws. There will be utter chaos. Why is there chaos on the streets of Pakistan? There is chaos in the streets of Pakistan? Why is it like that? Because nobody is following the laws, the traffic laws, the laws of the streets. Why are they not following the laws? That they grow up in an, in an environment where they see others also not doing it. So they don't follow the laws. And there is one thing most important. That is, they do, they do not have sense of the law. Why are laws, traffic laws there? To avoid chaos in the streets. To avoid chaos into, in the traffic. Why do you need to avoid chaos in the traffic? Because if there will be chaos, there will be, there will be accidents. There would be loss of life and property. So to avoid that loss of life and property, there have to be certain laws which must be implemented, which should be accepted by the society. There is a problem that there are, there is, there are laws and there is a little bit of uh, struggle to apply them, little bit, not too much, 20% maybe by the traffic police or the other, you know, law enforcing bodies. But the major problem is with the society. That you consider in your mind that breaking a law is something macho. Now this is precisely the mentality of a criminal. This is how a criminal thinks. This is how, as I told you, that when deciding about the murder, there would be some idiot. Who would say, you know, why? Why should I not murder someone? Who are you to tell me whom to murder and whom not to murder? Who are you to tell me to give me punishment? You see? Now that criminal mentality has gone deep into our culture, into our society, in Pakistani society. And most of us are criminals in the, in the sense of laws. Obviously, when you don't have any sense of law, what do you have? You have sense of crime. What is crime? What is crime? Going against the law. Breaking a law is crime. So when young ones, so young, such young people become criminals in their minds, what is, what would be the future of this nation? <laughs> there is no future. That is why there is darkness in our society. That, that is why there is darkness in this country. That the individuals who make up this country, they are not really interested in following the law. They have excuses. He is not following it, so why should I follow? So that's how it goes. And obviously, the flaw is on the implementation side also. But I remember, you know, if, if we weigh, where is the, what is more faulty? The implementation side is more faulty or the, the ones who are, who are supposed to apply are more faulty? The ones who are supposed to apply are at fault most of the times. But they are both at fault. 
But in comparison, we are, we feel funny about this. Yes, I also sometimes laugh on it. But at a deeper level, this is painful. This is disturbing. What kind of a nation are we, nation we are? We think, in our wisdom, we think laws are for fools. And we are the wise ones, so we'll break the break the laws. So the problem is that instead of asking others, I should not break, break the law. I should not do it. Forget about what everyone else is doing. Because that safety which the law provides, it will provide it for me. At least I will remain safe. The hassle and hurry of reaching home makes many people reach God. That we enjoy breaking the law. So that is precisely cr cr criminal's mentality. <clears throat> a criminal is a criminal because he wants to enjoy the law, uh, to break the law. He enjoys breaking the law. And then when he gets used to it, it becomes his livelihood to break the law. So he becomes a hardened criminal. So not, none of you has become a hardened criminal, but some of you are walking on the path of criminals. Very less, there are five, I think. So, but let's hope that you learn it today. That law is not to make you, uh, laws are not there to curb your freedom. No. Laws are there to help you live free within certain limits. Because living free beyond limits will destroy your life will destroy the life around uh, of the people around you and will create a lot of troubles. So this is the general understanding of what law is and how laws are made. I will get in, get deeper into it for the next three days. We'll keep talking about this so that I do my bit, you learn it, 